Hey ladies, so I was asked if I could have done a uh, like a regular set, a regular full set. So I'm like, sure, why not? So let's do this. So first off, let's pretend that this is a real nail using Lala. So let's pretend this is a real nail. What you would want to do is you just um, file off the shine off your natural nail. That's it. You don't need to do anything more. You know, if you want to shape it a little bit, you can do that. That's it. You just, that's it. Then you would um add your dehydrator. This is the one I use. Right? So basically you just want to dry. That's it. Just to dehydrate your nail to, to remove the shine. If sometimes if I don't have it, I don't worry about it because I already removed the shine with the file. So, you know, so let's pretend that I push back the cuticle. That's it. Now, what I would do is take my tip and my glue. I just add, just dab a little bit, right there, just a little bit. So what I do is I press down so that all the bubbles can get, you know, no bubbles. And you just wait a couple seconds until that's it. Now you would, um... Now you would take your nail clip. I know this is all that's time for a new one. And I would just clip it off. And let it dry a little bit more. But I think that's good. So I would just clip it to size. Holding the nail. And that's it. You know, so. Okay. Then I would shape it, just shape it. Holy crap. <laughs> Somebody's not behaving itself. So, right? So what I do, I don't want to see this harsh right here, this harsh um, edge right here. So what I would do is, this is what my home, my little homie girl from the UK sent me. <laughs> Emma. So what I do is, I will hold my I will hold my brush like the file like this for steady and I will just over it a full set will take me about 30 minutes 35 minutes all right so you wipe you brush off whatever and then you would apply your primer. One coat should be enough. A lot of people put two, but I don't find any difference. And you would just put this on the natural nail, not on the tip. There's no need, because like I said, once again, the acrylic sticks to plastic, but not your natural nail. So now, um... Uh, for this purpose only, I would you I would use a natural color acrylic so that you guys can see instead of um clear. So I'm gonna use I got this one from Artisan, so it's the natural color. You know I got this. I might use it. You know like to make a mix or you know or make color more opaque, opaque. Yeah. So now, when I dip, first of all, you want to dip and make sure that there's no bubble. You let all the bubbles out, all the air out of the brush. So when you see bubbles lift up, that's how you know that the air is being removed out of the brush and the, all the brush is fully wet.
All right. So now I remove from one side, not from both sides. So that once again, one side. Sometimes I might do it twice if I feel like it's still full. All right. Do not do this. And put it inside the powder. No, don't do that. You would create, um, first of all, if you dip it in the acrylic, you're going to create a mess. Is You're going to have goop all over the place. So you do not pick it up like that and pour it inside the powder. That's a no-no. You drop it, um, you squeeze it on the corner like that. And then... Um, let me get the powder. All right, let's start this one more time. All right. Wait. I'm doing this with my left hand so you guys can see it better. Then this is how I will pick up. Like that. All right. You do not do this. All right, and then drop it down. You see what I just created? You do not do that. You will leave clump inside of the powder like that, and you don't want that. And you will mess up your brush. You don't do that. That's a big no-no. You pull down from one side, then you would one, two, three. There goes the ball. All right. One, two, three. Sometimes I don't do the one, two, three. You know, that's, that's why I remove from the sides also as well. And I'll just pick up one time. So it's not, also necess it's not always necessary to do a one, two, three, then pick up. It's not always necessary. All right. So let's go ahead. And let's do this set. I would have been done by now if I was doing a regular set, you know. I would have been probably on my third, on my third um, finger. So. Pick up one. Wait, let's do this again. Because I have the fan on, so it drives, it would dry up my bowl. So then I, I start from the bottom up. From the bottom up. That's how I learn, and it works for me. From the bottom up. Like so. Now I do it again. Then from the middle, drop it. And you don't have to be, you don't have to do this too hard. Just lightly pat your brush. Because if you pat too hard, you will create a bubble. So you don't need to pat too hard. Like so. See, if this was a shorter tip, I would have been done, you know. But since it's a longer tip, then one more ball should do the trick. And the neater the application is the less filing you will do. See? All right. Some of you girl, when y'all do the application, y'all go in too deep to the cuticle. No, you don't. That's wrong. Okay. That's how you will create lifting. You try to get as close as you can to the cuticle 
without touching your cuticle or your side walls. Because if the if the acrylic gets on top of your cuticle, your um you your body has natural oils. And that will create lifting. Because it will fight against and will go underneath the acrylic. And it will create lifting. So that's my set right there. Once it dries, then we'll do the filing, all right? All right, so now this has dried. So now we're going to file the edges like that. And now I'm going to go in to my e file, my drill. Remember what I said from left? From right to left if you're lefty, if you're righty, or left to right if you're a lefty. So you just slightly go. Now sometimes if you have too much here, it is too thick, you go from the bottom and you file off some of the nail so you even it out. You don't have to go in and just go harsh and do all this. So my application is not bad. It's actually good. So it's less time to um to file. It's less time to file. So you look from the side and make sure that it's you know nice and even, no bumps. You might look from the bottom to make sure that everything is nice and even. It has a nice curve. And you're I'm done. So it's pretty. I'm done. Let me um now we're gonna have to buff this. File and buff it. Just shape it up some more and then buff it. So now that I finished filing it, now that I finished um shaping this with the with the um with, with the the e file, the e file electric file, the drill, I buff. To remove all the harsh scratch lines in the mark of the file, the filer. That's it. And then I will grab just regular 100% alcohol and remove the dust. And that's it. So look at it right here, nice and pretty, nice and shaped, correct. And that's it for an application. There goes a regular set right there. Once you get better, you'll find it doing quicker and smoother and spend less time on the nail. So this is how you would want to start off first to learn and then you go ahead and move on move on to um glitters and stuff. So this nail I use um regular um regular powder the natural color. Normally you would use uh clear, but for this purpose so that you can see the application nice, I use the natural color acrylic so I hope I was able to explain and yeah I was able to understand and hopefully got some um tips on how to um why well, keep saying um oh so <laughs> hopefully you got the idea and the concept of how to do a set so ladies thank you for watching and if you have any comments questions leave them below and i'll get back to you so talk to you later